In order to be able to show the functionality of the breakpoints in more detail, we open an existing STL block in a TA portal project. This also works with an STL block. To illustrate the exact function of the breakpoints, we have opened the corresponding data block next to the workspace where you can see the SCL code. The first step is to go online on the PLC system. In the next step, the breakpoints are activated. Please note, when a breakpoint is reached, the CPU changes from run to hold. The outputs keep their respective status and are no longer updated. For this reason, there may be a danger to persons and damage to the machine or plant. In the case of failsafe CPUs, the corresponding monitoring time must be taken into account for correct operation. You can see in the CPU operator panel, where the current status of the PLC is shown, that it changes from run, green, to hold, orange, as soon as the breakpoint is reached. The first breakpoint is set and activated outside the for loop. Next, we execute the program step by step. Here, the actual values of the variables outside the for loop can be observed directly in the work area and the actual values of the data block in the block itself. The second breakpoint is set and activated within the for loop. The program section can also be worked through step by step and the actual values can be observed accordingly in the data block. The program section can also be executed step by step and the actual values can be observed accordingly in the data block. After all breakpoints have been removed from the program, the PLC changes from hold mode back to run mode and executes the user program as usual.